A giant asteroid is hurtling towards Earth. SG-1 has to stop it. It's a premise so familiar that in the episode, Colonel Jack O'Neill refers to a certain movie with this same premise. He notes, I've seen this movie. It hits Paris. Well, Jack, I've seen that movie too. And I can assure you, this episode is better than the movie. The constant possibility of the asteroid coming to Earth gives the episode a clear sense of impending doom. The pace is very fast, and at no point does SG-1 slow down for any emotional moment. Along the way, certain things go wrong, and there are a few twists and turns that make the conflict so compelling with this simple premise. While this episode may be science fiction, its science is somewhat plausible. For example, SG-1's objective is to knock the asteroid off course with a nuke at a certain point in space. This may seem like a stretch, but the episode subverts this approach by giving it some repercussions and side effects. Such repercussions are explained by a plot twist that serves as a credible enough excuse for how far-fetched it can get scientifically. Then again, SG-1 resolves the conflict with a now-or-never plan so crazy they even lampshade its absurdity. For these logical issues, the episode also does a good job at plugging up any plot holes it can. For example, why can't Stargate Command call in the help of the allies they've made over the past five years? Well, they've all got their own problems in the galaxy. For example, the Asgard refused to help out due to a non-interventionist treaty with the Gua'uld, preventing them from interfering with natural disasters. On a side note, this scenario calls for some heavy use of visuals, and Failsafe excels at this. The cinematography of this episode is beautiful, with so many well-shot angles. The practical set designs of the asteroid are totally believable. The CGI looks a bit dated 17 years later, but for 2002, it looks pretty realistic. For the wider shots, the asteroid coming to Earth shows the scale and magnitude of the rock and what damage it could cause. Also, there is one particular special effect near the end of the episode that still looks beautiful in 2019. For all its efforts to patch up any scientific flaws, Failsafe works because it embraces its concept of being pure straightforward popcorn fun. It makes for a good gateway episode for Stargate newcomers who do not want to start with the original movie or Children of the Gods, which honestly are the more logical points to start. It captures the feel and essence of Stargate SG-1 very well and shows the iconic team working together at their strongest.